Hey, what is up, everyone? Ryan Anthony Hernandez here from the Truth Ayos Podcast. And today I wanted to talk real quickly about why so many of us in the cult that I was in, we were just so skinny. I remember the lowest I weighed was 114 pounds. And I'm going to leave a picture so you can see just how skinny I was. And you can find so much information online regarding how cults force the members to have low calorie diets. But for today, I just wanted to share what it was like in the cult that I was in so that you can have an understanding of what it is that we went through. The way other survivors explain it, and they explain it fantastically well, is that there is this sense of control from the leadership. But in my experience, I didn't see it as control at all. Only now that I'm out, of course, I'm seeing it as control. But while I was inside, the way I saw it, and maybe many of us saw it, was that we were doing a sacrifice or an act of love. So the way our low-calorie diet was introduced to us was that immediately when you join, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, those are fasting days. We would call that MWF, where you're only allowed to eat a bit of bread and water, and maybe if you're lucky, some coffee. But that was all year round. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're having very low calorie diets, very low nutritional meals. But I also remember that the founder, Father Bing, would have this thing called a moratorium. So during a moratorium, Father Bing, the founder, would announce, okay, from this day forward, we're going to have fasting for 40 days and also the members must observe absolute sacred silence. The only time we're allowed to really eat a good meal, good meal, is on Sunday. But the rest of the days, and maybe even Saturday a little bit, but the rest of the days, Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday, it has to be strict fasting. So we did this very much. We did it a lot. But I remember right before we took our professions or our vows, I remember one of the elders in the community said, okay, we need to start feeding the foreigners. The foreigners were the members who had come from uh, America, from Australia, uh, Canada, because we were based off in the Philippines. So this superior was like, we got to make sure that they eat well because we don't want their parents to come here and to be worried because they're not going to understand the sacrifice and the devotion that we're doing to save souls. So if you were to tell me back then, hey, Ryan, you know why they're doing all this fasting? Why they're, why they're making you do moratoriums of 40 days? And sometimes it even go to 50 or 60 days of fasting. If you were to tell me, hey, you know the reason why they're doing this is because they're trying to control you? I would say you're an enemy. Because in my mind, what we're doing is saving souls, we're making sacrifices, and we're helping people go to heaven. But now that I can really look at the situation from from my new perspective, I'm not against fasting, but the way they did it was just so criminal and if you were to ask for more more food it was really like oliver twist you know if you ask for more food it's like what you want more like how dare you ask for more food you're being so gluttonous you're being so ungrateful here we've given you two slices of bread and here you are asking for more oh my gosh ungrateful Hey, but I lost a lot of weight. I was 114 pounds. I could have been lower. I could have had a lower weight, but it was just so unhealthy. And I think it's time for me to share my story. And I'll be sharing more about how they really took food away from us, took nutrition away from us, but also they took sleep away from us. So stay tuned for some more videos on that. Peace out, y'all.